Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you three Dollar Tree last minute Valentine's Day gifts to give. They are quick, easy, and affordable. And everything I use came from the dollar store. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and hit that bell icon as it will inform you each time of my upcoming videos. So our first project is going to be this Hershey Kisses bowl. So easy to create these, they turn out so cute. So to get started, I'm starting in Design Space. I'm going to go to Images and I'm going to find the image that I want to use. I'm just going to type in Kisses, 0.25 cents, and then this is going to come up. If you have the Cricut Access, you will get this for free. Then all I want to do is actually change the size on this. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. You need to figure out what size you want yours to be on your container, but I'm just going to eyeball it and make it a little bit smaller. Go up to make it, and I'll show you what it looks like. There's the black, here's the red. Then I'm going to go to continue, and I'm just going to pick which setting I want to use for my Cricut Maker. So I'm going to choose the stencil vinyl for this particular project. Now I just put in a brand new blade, so this cut out really, really well, and it was very easy to weed. I'll show you really quick here. It was so easy to weed. Now if you do happen to have any issues with your vinyl com not coming up properly, or if it's not cutting all the way through, I would definitely check into changing your blade. It was a game changer for me when I bought new blades and I put this new one in. I picked up three bags of these Hershey Kisses. I also picked up a few of these fishbowl glasses. And here's my finished results of my vinyl. The next step you're going to want to do is take some transfer tape. Make sure you go over the hearts first because that goes over the kisses part. I'm just going to take my scraper and scrape it on really well so it sticks onto the transfer tape. I like to flip my designs over when I'm taking my uh, vinyl off. Then you can see if you're going to miss anything on there. Then you just want to line your hearts up with your other piece. Then again, what I like to do is flip my design upside down so I make sure I'm not missing any vinyl pieces and everything comes up. So this is the fish bowl that I'm going to be using. They come in two different sizes. I think I got the smaller one here. You're just going to have to make sure you clean it really well with alcohol and make sure it's dry before you put your design on it. So a quick tip if you didn't already know, I'm just taking my scissors and cutting little notches in between each piece here, being very careful not to get part of the file. It just helps you transfer your file onto a curved surface. Now just carefully put on your file onto your bowl and you can use your thumbs and spread it out. I normally start from the center and then push my way out, and making sure that I push really hard on each letter, getting them to stick properly. Then once you get it all on, take the top piece of your transfer tape and peel back very carefully and slowly. I don't know about you, but I really love how this turned out. I can't wait to put it on my counter. So my next craft is going to be this Dollar Tree mug using a gnome from Design Bundles. So I'm starting in Design Space. I'm going to go to my Upload button and View All, and I'm going to type in Gnome. I've already uploaded this into Design Space. I got this from uh, Design Bundles, and I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in this cute little gnome. So the only thing I have to do for this project is just resize it, and you want to resize it to whatever size you'd like and whatever size you think will fit onto your mug. Then I'm going to go to make it. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. I didn't bother with changing the color because I'm just going to do it white anyway. Then it's going to ask me to select my base material and I always select stencil vinyl. So here it goes. I'm just putting it in my Cricut machine and I'm just going to cut it out in the white vinyl. Next I'm going to show you how easily it is to weed out. This is such a cute little SVG file and he would be great for any project that you have. Then I'm just going to take some transfer tape, put it over my file, and then use my scraper and scrape it onto it really hard. Then I'm going to peel it back, and I'm going to do the same thing as I said before, is just make little slits in it so it goes onto my mug even easier. Then once you're finished, you go ahead and peel back the transfer tape. Now isn't he cute? 
All right, so let's get started on our third dollar store craft idea. So I bought some cereal bowls and I wanted to customize these. So I did the ones that said somebody seriously loves you. With Easter coming up really quickly, I thought it would be a great time to show you guys how to personalize these. I'm also using dollar store vinyl for the first time. So we're going to see how these turn out. So I'm starting in design space. I'm going to go to upload and find the image that I want to use. I'm going to click add to canvas. And once it brings it up, it's going to be rather small. I'm just going to make it really large so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to show you really quick. If you go to the color box, you can change this to whatever color that you would like. Um, I'm just going to be cutting this out in pink dollar store vinyl. So I'm just going to leave it as this purple color. Now I'm just making it a little bit smaller. Um, I want to make sure that I'm not going over 2x2, two 3x3. Two, three three. Um, I really want to stay in that size range so it fits on my bowl properly. I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says attach and I'm going to push that so all of the things on the side here are going to cut as one whole piece. I'm going to go ahead and click make it, show you what it looks like here, click continue, and then I'm going to show you which setting I use. So I've never used dollar store vinyl before so I'm just going to pick this stencil vinyl and see how that cuts out. All right, so it looks like it didn't cut out very well. Um, I'm gonna try this again, and I'm gonna try it on a different setting. I'm gonna try the washi tape. Uh, some of it turned out really well over here, if you can see this. It worked, turned out here, but not so much over here. So I'm gonna try this again on the washi tape. I believe it's called setting, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So second time, this one is actually called the washi sheet setting. So we're going to try this one and see if this one works out instead. Otherwise, I'm thinking I might need to make the um, image a little bit bigger. So we're going to try this and see if this turns out on here. All right, so this is finished. We will see what this looks like. Okay, much better on the washi setting. So I'm going to show you guys how it weeds out. I know it's hard to see here, but I'm going to show you how it weeds out. So since it's a smaller font, I like to go in and take the littler pieces out um, instead of taking the whole piece of vinyl back and then going in and weeding. It just makes the process a little bit easier, so that's what I'm doing here. So once I get out the little tiny pieces, I go ahead and peel back the vinyl itself. I am pleasantly surprised at how easily this is actually weeding. It is a smaller font, so the pieces are going to be a little bit harder to get out. So as you can see, I missed a few here. I just go back and push it down. This vinyl definitely gets a thumbs up so far for me. All right, guys, so that really did not weed that bad, actually, surprisingly. Um, I'm really curious to see how it's going to stick on the bowl. I want to show you one. This is one I previously did. It's a different kind of file, but it's a little bit bigger. Um, but I did this one just a little bit smaller just to see what it would look like on here. Again, never used this vinyl before, so we're going to see how it sticks onto um, the bowl. So I just have a piece of transfer tape here. I'm going to put it right on top. One thing though with this uh, vinyl, I did notice that it moves around a lot easier than uh, normal vinyl like 651. Um, so that was a little bit of a difference. Um, as you saw, maybe you saw in the video, the little letters were kind of moving all over the place. So I took a minute and I actually fixed those. So I put the transfer tape over. I pushed really hard with the um, with the scraper. Now I'm just going to take it, flip it upside down, and see how well this comes off. Oh wow. Guys, I'm actually really surprised. Wow. I'm really surprised to be honest with you guys. We're going to see <laughs> how well it sticks on there. So what I like to do is take a scissors and make little notches in here without cutting your piece or your file itself. This will help you with any kind of um, material or something that you're putting it on, any kind of product that you're putting it on, this is kind of a round bowl, so it's not going to lay flat. So putting those little cuts in it really helps. So move this stuff out of the way and show you. So first you want to clean your bowl with alcohol first, which I already did, and let it dry. And then just find a center part on here. I'm trying to go a little bit higher up so that we see it a little bit better. There is a lip at the top here, so I'm just trying to barely go over that lip. And then just go straight on it. Oh yeah, definitely. Those little cuts in there really, really help. Lay it flat. It just gives the transfer tape a little bit of extra oomph, I guess, a little bit of extra 
uh, area to lay on. So just taking my thumb and pushing it all over. And the tricky part is, is now that we have cuts in this, sometimes it um, comes off in pieces. But I'm going to go careful with this. And if it does come off, I'm just pushing it down with my thumb. And we'll see. Yeah, I'm... Show you a little closer. I'm really impressed by this, to be honest with you. Have you guys ever used Dollar Tree vinyl before? This is my first time, and like I said, I'm very impressed by it, to be honest. I thought it was going to not work so well. So have you guys used it before? Leave some comments down below. I would love to hear it. I'm sure our everyone else watching would love to hear it too. Um, what have you made with it? How did you think about it? You know, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this? I'm actually very, very impressed by this. It went on really smooth. I really, I do actually like it that it's a little bit smaller than this one. This one was a different file, like I said, it's a little bit bigger, but I actually do like this, that this one's just a little bit tinier. So we're going to let this sit, you know, for a couple of days um, and see how it hardens because you can easily just move these things and you shouldn't be able to. So I'm going to let this one sit. I'm actually going to uh, finish this up. I have some bags that I bought from the dollar store and I have like a little bunny and some cereal that I'm going to put in here. So stay tuned to the end to see what I do with these guys. I hope you guys like these three Valentine's Day dollar store items that I created using all dollar store supplies. I'm really excited about this. So um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Stay tuned to the end to see what they all look like and see how I finish this one up. But I'm really excited about this. I think I might be trying this more. I'm going to try that glitter one. So uh, leave some comments down below to see what I do with the glitter one. But I'm really excited to keep going. So stay tuned then, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.